and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. For some Demir Ashiok. That's right, our next donation deck is an Ashiok theme deck. Um, we have uh, four Ashiok Nightmare Muse, this new mythic. This Ashiok is really, really strong. So we got four of these, but then to uh, add on to that, we got three of the uh, Ashiok that's been in standard for a while, Ashiok Dream Render. We got three of these and a couple Ashioks Erasure also. So we got um, a Demir control deck, Ashiok theme. We're going to be winning games, uh, milling out our opponent, probably. We're going to be doing some of that. Um, you know, like Ashiok exiles their whole graveyard and also exiles more cards in their library, this uh, Dream Render. And then uh, the Nightmare Muse, you know, makes two threes that continues to exile stuff from their library. But then in, in two turns, you get to do the minus seven, and then you can cast any three cards you want f that they have uh, from ex like uh, face up cards from exile. So all the cards that like Ashiok Dream Re Render exiles, and the cards the two threes exile, <clears throat> you can cast any three that you want, and you can even choose um, a card exiled by Ashiok's Erasure if you want. You know you can um, Ashiok's Erasure exile a spell, and if it's if that's a good spell, you can cast that. Also, so you know we got we got our Ashiok theme deck, and then you know we have just a lot of good blue and black um, interaction uh, along with it to try to stay alive and stabilize and get to the late game. Um, there's a lot of different threats in standard, and so our sideboard we have a lot of one ofs to, to kind of put uh, fill in our deck, different spots depending on what we need so we can mix and match. But all right, so here we go. So this is going to be some some Demir Ashiok. Let's see how it does. All right, so we're going to play this through a league. Play till we win five or lose two. Whatever happens first. Yeah, time to mill them. Are there any combo decks in the meta? Yeah, yeah, there's, there's definitely different combo stuff you can be doing. Um, oh, we can steal adventure creatures with a minus seven? Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. Yeah, that's something that we could do. Like, if they have a bunch of adventure creatures in exile, we can cast those before they do. Uh, Legion's End also exiles. Another way to put some stuff in exile. We have Eat to Extinction to exile. Oh, no. Looks like we're playing against a control deck, which is not what we want with... Legions and Legions and Ritual of Soot. So we have a, a mold of four. Yeah, this is not good. Not good for the hand that we have. We got our Ashiok sleeves. There's not an Ashiok avatar. Oh man, that castle is awesome in this matchup where we're not doing damage too too much. Hmm. Boo. This game's pretty lost. 
kind of see some more of their deck. But this game's pretty lost. Mold of four, not good. But yeah, we'll, you know, we'll sideboard, and I feel pretty good about winning sideboard games. So they have Brazen Borrower. That's going to be trouble. Alright, we're just going to move on. What am I doing about Kefnet? Not doing a whole lot. Do I want Tyrant Scorn? Do I want Farika's Libation? Make them sacrifice. Nah. All right. I'll play one. I'll play the Tyrant Scorn over the Libation, but let's see. That's supposed to be the other way around. We'll see. Much better hand. R means I'm playing the deck in ranked. So I think it's either Sabotage or Ashiok. I'm just going to let them Thought Erasure my hand, which is fine. I think I just take that Ashiok. Hey, Escurio. Perfect. That's the card I wanted to see. <clears throat> That's exactly what I wanted to see. I play Temple of Deceit, then they know my last card, and so they don't cast Thought Erasure. Like they know the two that I have two lands at hand. So playing the Swamp. Now they play Thought Erasure. So they should not be casting the E to Extinction first. They should be doing that after the Ashiok trigger. Because now they have this Surveil that they 
put a card in the graveyard, but then I'm just... You know, so I just got rid of an extra card. Gadwick, Ashiok, Gadwick. Yeah, Blue Black Mirror, definitely a war of attrition. There's basically too many spells that just dodge uh, duress, which I don't have any duress in here. I just don't think duress, you know, like with having Agonizing Remorse and Thought Erasure in the format, I just don't think you need duress anymore. Now we have a lot of counter magic. I can just fire this off also. Yeah, we want to get cards out of our hand anyway for the Castle Lock Twain. Exile some more stuff in their graveyard. They can put that back into their library. So it seems like Tyrant Score could pick up our Gadwick or Murderous Rider. Yeah. I'm gonna go Tyrant Scorn. Well, I guess maybe not. Yeah, I guess because it doesn't resolve, so it doesn't have that ability. So actually maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, it's got to go from the, you know, like, battlefield exile, like a banishing light. Where are those lands at? Okay. All right. Bant Flicker. All right. We're going to finish the uh, Bant Flicker upload. Um, if you wish to see, keep an open. 
in mind. Cool. Three swaps, swamps and a castle of Antris down to the bottom. That's fantastic. Not looking good. Not oh, having land drops. Um, I think, I think Oko is stronger than Jason Mind Sculpture. <laughs> the shadows awaken. Gotta be kidding me. Can we just get a land? Looks like they got this one. As long as they have counter magic to protect their Ashiok. That's gone. It doesn't really matter. It's going to get exiled. I like to be able to double, like I can't double spell with anything, so I'm gonna play the Gadwick and draw two. I expect Gadwick to die. I expect like if they have, they haven't had stuff that they have removal, but we don't have the black sources to Rider plus Scorn. Updates would you make to the fires deck? I don't like are you talking about Jeskai Fires? I don't I don't know if there's I don't know if there is any updates to Jeskai Fires. I don't know, there's probably something, like Storm's Wrath or something. I don't know off the top of my head what updates there are. I 
That's going to be a tough one to beat. Ashiok's Erasure just costs so much mana. Four mana. Like, how do we ever play that card? Sinister Sabotage would, would technically be better than this, but we're playing Erasure because we're an Ashiok-themed deck. But um, even if you want to just play like Ashiok stuff but upgrade, just playing Sinister Sabotage would be better, honestly. Options are Gadwick for zero or Tyrant Scorn, bounce the Atreus, try to disdainful stroke it on the way back. Which is still an option. It's just a really unfortunate mana game. I always hate not being able to play the spells in hand. It's my least favorite way to lose. That's just where we are. Oh, stop. Oh, card. I thought we were going to be winning the mirror. I was pretty confident, even like after the game one hand, that we just had all the dead cards. Still felt pretty good about the sideboard games, but we just got really stuck on lands that third game. You know, we mull again too, of course. You know, my, my seven had zero lands, and we mull, and it's two lands, and it's it's not anything that I like, but... Didn't go to five. I guess I should have gone to five. Like, I would rather have five lands and zero spells in that kind of matchup with all the discard and everything than what we had. It was that, that Narset. Remember, like, that Nar like when we played the Narset and then minus, and then it was Swamp, 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 Castle Vantress on top? They all went to the bottom. That was really rough. If I would have... You know, played Ashiok instead. <laughs> Drawn those cards. It's nice being able to see their hand first before we Legion's End, so we have more information about Legion's End. Um, not too scared of this stuff. Let's get rid of this Conclave Tribunal. Yeah, I liked being a flicker. I thought it was pretty good. We we just lost one of our games to Hushbringer, which is just gonna happen. I didn't feel bad about that. And then our other loss. Um, was to Teamer Reclamation, but we didn't we only played like one game, the other game we didn't get to play. Because of mana. Yeah, the new set did not add anything at all. Like, there's, like, no artifacts in the new set 
for the for the Premier Affinity deck. I was definitely sad about that. So the new system set really didn't upgrade that at all. Obviously, I'm still gonna I'm gonna play the deck some more, but probably won't have a ton of new stuff. Hawk and Dexos. Had a couple of really good Legion's ends. A couple two for one Legion's ends. Taking it. Creeping, feeding frog. So I could I could bounce with the Ashiok and then play a new one. That's kind of greedy if they top deck a Conclave Tribunal and then and get rid of my Ashiok. I'm gonna feel bad about that. Or I don't have a backup. Keep on milling. So they're at 40 cards. Lurks among us. Now down to 34. And the Ashiok will get another 10, so down to 30. Keep on exiling. We got 24 cards in exile, 29 cards in library. Okay. Ashiok Tribal. Let's get some more Grasp, Cry, Soot, ETG, E. This isn't actually like an Ashiok Dream Render matchup. We were just already really far ahead, so we could we got to play it. We're going to have to take out a couple of our Ashiok cards with that and Erasure, and then I'll take out a Thought Erasure as well. Maybe a Narset? Maybe I'll take out Narset, actually. Yeah, I'll take out Narset. Oh, you get back in here. Narset. There we go. Uh, this will probably work. You know, we're on the draw, we get the scry from the temple, we also have the opt, like 
be able to hit land drops with that. Gideon. Gideon is gone. All the rest of the stuff dies to soot. Gideon does not. Don't expect them to play anything else. Cool. I'm glad they did, though. And Ritual of Soot. That should hopefully be kind of easy from here. Hopefully. He even drew a Murderous Rider in case they top tech a Gideon. that fifth land. There it is. And let's make some two threes. Got rid of Heliod. I think we can outrace with the 1-1 one, one lifelinker. And so does my opponent. Okay, one and one. Sweepers are good. Back on track. Yeah, we kind of had everything, those games. Leyline of Abundance. Looks like my opponent likes mana creatures. They're making that abundantly clear. Nice druid. Uh, 
this song this is uh, 10 years is the band and fault line is the name of the song All right, y'all know the drill. Play Ashiok, tick up. No, it's not worth it to minus and get rid of the ley line because then they kill my Ashiok. That is not worth it. Can I draw that <laughs> right now somehow? So I could minus seven the Ashiok and cast some stuff. Yeah. All right, let's get Ancient, Ancient, Plain White Celebration. I want to put Ashiok back into my hand. Wait, where are you going? <laughs> I could have double Nyxbloom Ancient in play. That would have been pretty sweet. And then I was going to be able to put, yeah, put the Ashiok back into my hand. So I was going to be able to replay that. Krasis and Mass Manipulation, you know, like, those don't really do anything. Like, you know, like, those are just going to be X is zero, so. Um. Okay. So, you know, maxing out on the s sweepers for the mana creatures. Yeah, the X spells would be for zero. Uh, a little slow. But we'll keep it. Got a good Ashiok themed hand. Ashiok. Do we get to curve out Ashiok into Ashiok into Ashiok? Turn three Ashiok, turn four Ashiok, turn five Ashiok. That'd be awesome. Oh man, we're gonna try. Behold. 
We're gonna try at least. This temple of deceit may keep us from doing that, but we're gonna try. So they play Nessa, and then I'm gonna be like, no Nessas ever. And now we play Nightmare Muse. Yeah. Turn three, turn four, and turn five, Ashiok. We did it. We did it. Yeah. Curved out with the Ashioks. Yeah, Golgari Finebrook. Yeah, the new Golgari Finebroker with, yeah, with Thassa. Yeah, that card's awesome. Yeah, like that's a good combo. Yeah, that's a good combo. Spit on my scorch. It's rude. Is this the Rakdos burn deck we played yesterday? Maybe. Kind of want that extra card. This looks like the Rakdos Burn Deck we played yesterday. It is. That's really cool. Yeah, that's really cool. It's not blue mana. I keep it though, it's a land. Using Murder Rider so I can also cast Opt, look for some more blue mana. Ashiox Erasure would be good against Risk Factor. Uh oh. Oh man. This got a lot worse real, real fast. That was not a good turn for me. Oh, this is a bad play. This is a bad play. 
I shouldn't play the Gadwick. I should have bounced the Cauldron Familiar, and then when they replay it, Erasure the Cauldron Familiar, so then they can't play any more Familiars. That was a bad play by me. We went 5-0 with this Rakdos burn deck yesterday. Just kind of gets people. I don't think we can possibly stabilize that we're at five now that the special the like how they killed my two three lifelinker. Well at least we got Cauldron Familiar out of here. Then just sacrifice that. Yep, there's a familiar in hand. Oh wait, they just get to discard it to risk factor. And then bring it back. Well darn. Alright. Okay, so we're gonna bring in these things. We're gonna cut E2 extinction. Narsa can shut down risk risk factor. It's probably going to be dying. All right. It's gonna be a tough one to win.
Hmm. I don't know if I want to get blue or black mana <laughs> with this this Fable Passage. Alright, so looks like I can get either one. We have black. Murderous Rider, save me. Save me with all your lifelinking abilities. Hooray. Murderous Rider saving us. Time to find a cry or keep an open mind. Prior Legion's end. I know eighty eight ways to defeat the thoughtfulness before action. Actually, I'll, I'll take the opt. We got the mana. The only thing I know about Norman is Norman, Oklahoma. Hone your prowess. There is a Legion's End. like our chances this game okay can we get game three though it's gonna be the tough game can we get game three I guess this thing says gain life so that's good against the burn deck I suppose um Take out one Ashiok for that. They knew about the negate in my hand because of because of Narset, so I re revealed the negate. So they didn't just throw down their witches oven; they just drew because of the negate that they knew about. Uh, this is not a very good hand, but we got the ops to look for good cards. We got good mana, and my opponent is mulliganing. Oh, man, that's too bad for them. They're down to five cards. I'm not too big on Erebus' intervention. I 
I think it's too expensive for what it does, mana cost wise. They got Cauldron Familiar Witch's Oven, but they only have one land. Molda, if you if you if you send me the directions on Discord, the the directions on how to install BTTV, you know, step by step directions and everything, I'll set it up. Never learned how to do it. Yeah, so yeah, we have we have yeah, we got a little Ashiok in here to to try to slow down all the escape cards. Gotta have um, the Call of Familiar in your graveyard. Claim Stage Crusader. I guess I have to do Crusader. So I don't have more removal for the next Crusader. I mean, we'll be fine. We can we can do things to get rid of Cauldron Familiar Witches of, and there's a lot of cards that do. We'd like the like the five mana Ashiok bounce this oven, that would be nice.
them having the extra foods definitely makes this tougher. Yeah, I'm playing against the Rakdos burn from yesterday. Yep. All right, let's draw Legion's End. War Cry the Carnarium. It brought back the Cauldron Familiar. Um. I think I'd just go all out and draw four. I don't think I'd... I mean, I could draw two and try to hit Legion's End in the top two. But I think I just am supposed to go all out and get all four cards. Oh, gosh. That was a good one. That was a good one. Need to draw spell or need to discard spells with Croxa so we don't. Um. Hmm. So we don't take damage. Ooh, they got rid of the risk factor? And then just let me tap the witch's oven without sacking the cauldron familiar and bringing it back? I guess I didn't need to attack with the Gadwick. Yeah, I should have left the Gadwick back. I had to attack with Ryder. I should have left Gadwick back. Oh gosh, are you kidding me? Ugh. Fought so hard. It doesn't matter if I would have. It's not like okay, like let's say let's say I left Gadwick back. They still make the attack. I still I have to block. They bring back Cauldron Familiar. Still do one point of damage to me. I'm still dead. It's just 
it's just sad they drew that that burn spell before I had the chance to draw this negate. You know, like that they drew it that that one turn, the three damage. And you know, like because obviously, like I was going to be gaining two life a turn. Like they had to draw the three damage that turn, and that's like the only card in their deck. Uh. They drew it. Yeah, they drew a skewer the critics for the three damage. So there we go, Demir, Ashiok. We got to curve out with the Ashioks one game. Um, that that uh, that's what we did yesterday with that Rakdos burn deck, though. You know, like we won so many just really close games. You know, like we went five zero, and like all of our games were just razor, you know, razor thin margins, and we lost one just like that. We did not mill anyone for a win, but I think like we were like on our way to milling one person that conceded. We got to curve out with uh, turn three Ashiok, turn four Ashiok, turn five Ashiok one game, and my opponent conceded to the turn five Ashiok after going Ashiok times three. So that's a win. Um, so there we go. Um, the punt was attacking with the rider. No, I mean we have to. We can't just sit back and and never attack with Rider. I think you have to just attack with Riders and and uh, you know gain the life. And we can't just sit back and not attack. And yeah, if if I don't attack with the Rider, I I still would have died. It's like I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have had that extra two life. I would have been at two. They would have been the, drawn the three damage removal spell and killed me. Should have bounced the cat instead, gotten rid of the cat instead of the oven. Yeah, I guess we could have done that. Gotten rid of Cauldron Familiar instead of oven. Yeah, I mean, I could have done that. What do you think about the 1-4 creature that can go can be a 4-4 and can't be blocked if you control an Ashiok Planeswalker? Probably not good enough for standard. No, especially at three mana. If it costs two, maybe we're you know like we're talking like a two mana one four. You you could play. I forgot about this Ashiok. Maybe I should have put this Ashiok in there to have more Ashioks. Like that card's not that bad. Tick up, draw a card. That was not so bad. I forgot about that Ashiok. I was thinking those are just Ashiok cards. Um, all right. Uh, so there we go. So there's Demir Ashiok. All right, those y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And uh, if you got an Ashiok themed deck, feel free to. Uh, talk about that down in the comment section or anything about the deck here. All right, but thank you so much for watching it, and I will see you for the next video.